The following is a guide to help troubleshoot common digital cinema projection problems. You should always, first and foremost, follow your theater owner's instructions. If you're a theater with LMS configuration, please disregard this entire video. Check with your theater owner if you have an LMS configuration. What's the matter, Jimmy? Can't play that DCP you ingested? That's because it's digitally locked. You need to unlock it using a KDM. A KDM is a digital file that acts like a key to unlock your copy of the movie for your specific server. Every KDM only lasts a specific amount of time. The initial key normally lasts for two weeks. You will need a renewal key every week after that to keep playing your DCP. Step 1. Finding your KDM You may receive your KDM in a number of ways, including physical delivery of a USB flash drive, a CD, or online via email. If you receive the KDM by USB drive, you can plug it directly into your server. If you receive it by CD, you can put that directly into the CD drive. If you receive it via email, you'll find it slightly more complicated. Step 2. Transferring your KDM from email to USB drive. If you have received your KDM by physical delivery of USB drive or CD, please disregard this entire step and move on to step 3. Okay, Jimmy. Your emailed KDM needs to be downloaded, unzipped, and placed on the root directory of your USB drive. First, download the file from your email to the desktop of your computer. Double-click the file, and it should unzip the content to a new folder with the same name as the original file on the desktop. If this does not happen, you may not have the proper software to unzip the file, and you should contact your supervisor. Next, plug your USB drive into the USB port on your computer. Now you're ready to transfer the KDM onto your USB drive. Open the folder on your desktop. Highlight all the files, then click and drag all of them into your USB drive. Make sure you do not put these files in a folder on the USB drive. After the transfer, you should see the files as soon as you open the drive. This is called putting the files in the root directory. Finally, you need to safely eject your USB drive. Then, feel free to unplug it from your computer. Step 3. Ingesting the KDM now you're ready to ingest your KDM. Insert your USB drive or CD into the server. Most servers will automatically guide you through ingesting a KDM, but please refer to your server's specific manual. On an Access IT Do Re Mi server, click on Start, then Ingest. On the top left, select the tab that says Keys. Here you will see a list of keys. Note that one of them is checked, indicating the server has determined it needs that particular KDM. Towards the right, you will see a list of screens. The screen name of the checked KDM should match the theater you're in. Next, go to the top left and select Ingest. You will see a download bar appear to the right of the show's screen name. The ingest should take a few seconds to complete. Next, click Start, then Content Management. Find your show. You may find that even though you've ingested a KDM, the movie is still listed as locked. To fix this, go to the top left and hit Refresh. Look back at your show. It should now be listed as unlocked. Step 4. Feel special. You have now successfully unlocked your DCP using a KDM. You should now have higher self-esteem. And remember, if you experience any problems and you cannot solve them within 15 minutes, call for help. If you have an orange box, call Technicolor at 
99 films or 1 800 993 4567. If you have a yellow box, call Access IT at 1 888 367 2360.